Now, normal blood sugar fasting should be under 100. Now, sometimes people can have a normal fasting blood sugar or mildly elevated, um, but they can be diabetic. It is when they eat is when their blood sugar goes up. Now, anytime I get a blood sugar over 100 at, at my clinic, I really try to get a three-hour glucose tolerance test. Uh, if you're a female and, you, and you're listening, this is probably you've done this when you were pregnant, is you drink the oral glucose and they check your sugar every hour for three hours by a finger stick. And it's supposed to go up some but then back down within a certain range if it doesn't do that or if it goes above 200 uh, then you're talking about diabetes so if it's something that you need to really check on and one of the things kind of like plug that i try to do for myself i know Danae does this as well is we wear a continuous glucose monitor just to see how foods are affecting us but when you have increased uh, blood sugar uh, you're gonna have increased insulin so when you have increased insulin uh, the hyperinsulinemia is a root cause for a a lot of metabolic dysfunction. Uh, if uh, women have uh, PCOS, uh, 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 polycystic ovarian disease, you know that can be a root cause of having too much insulin for polycystic ovarian disease. Having hyperinsulinemia, you know, insulin is a growth factor, so you kind of grow in what and insulin does is it takes that sugar, especially if you're eating excess sugar, and it takes it from your blood and puts it into cells, your muscle cells, fat cells, liver cells, things like that, and you store that excess fat. And when you have have increased uh, sugar, it can lead to long-term problems, which decreases your longevity. Uh, sleep, you know, if you're not sleeping well, it can increase your cortisol. Uh, cortisol will increase your glucose, which increases your insulin. So those type of things is a whole effect as far as the things that you can do to feel better uh, just by making some lifestyle changes.